hey everyone welcome back to another new video i hope you all are doing well so today i'm going to fix this motherboard and this is a dell n4050 laptop motherboard and this motherboard is completely dead motherboard so now i will uh, check all the required voltage step by step and try to fix this motherboard so let's try to fix it okay uh, this is the laptop uh, motherboard model number db14 underscore hr underscore mb so now i will uh, let me show the condition of this motherboard so when i connect my power supply to this motherboard it's taking 0.37 only it's not turning on so now i will disconnect this cmos battery and then try again so connect and the same condition as you can see so now i will check all the required voltage on this motherboard step by step First, I will set my multimeter in DC mode and then I connect this power supply to this motherboard. And now I will check here as you can see uh, this connector. This is a, a positive, so 19 volt is present here. And then I will check this resistor here and this here. Okay. So 19 volt is clear on this motherboard and finally I check on this capacitor okay so all is clear so now I will check LDO voltage on this IC this is a TPS 51125 IC so now I will check uh, TPS 51125 5 IC LDO voltage so let me open schematic i already open it as you can see here this is a schematic diagram for this uh, laptop motherboard and uh, first i will check this pin number 8 and 17 this is vrz3 and vrz5 this call also ldo voltage ldo 3 volt and 5 volt so now i will check on this ic so uh, pin number 8 and pin number 17 so one two three four five six seven eight pin number eight is here three point three volt is present and pin number 17 so pin number eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen so sorry seventeen is here uh, four point nine five okay it's enough good enough so three volt and five volt ldo voltage is present on this uh, on this IC TPS five double one two five. So now I will check this uh, enable voltage here. As you can see here. So before that, let's check three volt and five volt always voltage is present or not. So this is the five volt coil. 5 volt always so okay as you can see 5 volt is not present and this is the 3.3 volt this also not present so now i will check 3 volt and 5 volt enable voltage on tps 51125 ic and this is the pin number 13 as you can see here power underscore 5 volt and uh, 3 uh, 3d3 3 v underscore en0 so as you can see here so now i will check pin number 13 so pin number 13 i will check this is a pin number 13 so as you can see enable bolt is also present 3.3 volt so now what should i check here this is a power good pin number 23 3 volt and power 5 volt power good voltage so pin number 23 so 12 this is a pin number So as you can see here is a 100 kilo ohm resistor. 
so 3.3 .3 volt is present and now I will check other side here here is a not present okay so now what should I check here V in pin number 16 19 volt is present so nothing to check for now now I will replace this IC TPS Five double one two five because uh, this uh, VR is a three and VR is a five and this uh, three volt and five volt enable voltage power good or V in all the required voltage is present on this IC. So now I will replace this IC. Then I will check again. I guess after replace this IC this board will be working condition So this is my donor board. And I hope this IC also good. So let's replace it. okay replace is done so now it's time to check so now i connect my power supply again let's check okay as you can see it's turning on it's so power led is power led is glowing now it's turning on so now i will check the display yes. okay or not okay okay we have Dell logo so it's done yeah. so if you like this video so please hit the subscribe button press the bell icon if you already subscribe my channel thank you so much thanks for watching this video